Okay, we're back again shooting some videos, uh, basically for the video side of, of my system. Um, this is basically a video with looking at basically the Oppo 203 upscaling quality. Uh, and if I've got time, I'll compare obviously UHD to this as well. Um, a lot, you know, a lot of people are going to still watch Blu rays, uh, obviously on their um, UHD Blu ray players. So let's have a look at the upscaling quality uh, of the Oppo 203. At the moment, this is uh, literally Blu ray. Um, basic settings so we've got um, output from the oppo at the moment of 10 tw 1920 by 1080 obviously str uh, rec 709 color 422 chroma which i'll leave that on that the whole time and 8-bit color so that's literally bog standard basic blu-ray as it comes and then just quickly um the display i feel we need a obviously the right display to show this off so we've got a sony vw 500 4k projector uh, on a 100 inch screen and I'm sitting less than eight feet away from the screen so pretty close close enough to see distance uh, close enough to see differences now if we quickly look at the settings for the projector if you notice reality creation is off now reality creation is basically like a I don't know if you can see that it gets sharper obviously blurrier it's basically Sony's 4k upscaling so we've got that off so all we're going to look at is purely the oppo upscaling quality and then hopefully if we've got time look at the UHD equivalent so this is Lone Survivor um, we'll just watch a couple a minute or, or so so this is bog standard blu-ray as it is we're gonna see what, what differences we can see and I chose this film purely because it's got a fantastic picture anyway so it's a really really good test of what blu-ray is like and Hopefully, what differences we get with, with you know, with the improvements we make. Or maybe improvements on obviously the money we spend more, more to the truth. Okay, and we'll go back to the start. Let's quickly go into the settings. What we'll do. The first thing we're going to do up the resolution to UHD 24 frames per second and then we're going to up the color depth to 12 bit now with this projector it doesn't have full 18 gig a second um, HDMI socket it's only got um, HDMI 13 gig a second so I can't have full 444 chroma and 12 bit color um, so just for this test I'm going to leave it at 422 uh, for me the differences between the two of those is pretty negligible I feel the colour depth actually has more of an effect so we'll quickly come out we'll just quickly just to show you that obviously HDR and everything's obviously off it's Blu-ray anyway so it's obviously off now let's watch this and see what differences we can see so this is now the Blu-ray player upscaling to 4K resolution as you can see there and we've still got obviously reality creation off so at the moment it's purely the blu-ray player upscaling to 4k and upscaling to 12-bit color so i'm not sure i'd, I'd uh, obvious the differences will be you know filmed Obviously, from a camera. I mean, the camera is a, a Galaxy S7 Edge phone. You know, filming in 4K. Obviously, we need to have a 4K film, don't we, to, to pick up 4K? Um, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not massive difference. You know, it's not night and day difference. But what you notice is that the elements of the screen seem to have more um, clarity. They seem to pop a little bit more. So it just gives a picture more depth. It's not massive, but it is noticeable. It is quite noticeable. In fact, it's. In people, you know, I've seen a lot that resolution. People say resolution doesn't matter, but it does. It definitely does. Um, the upscale, uh, the Oppo does a fantastic job of upscaling. I must say, it's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, put the UHD disc in, 
and see what difference we can see there from uh, the benefits we get there. Now, bearing in mind this is a VW500 projector, it doesn't do HDR, it doesn't officially do wide color gamut. However, I made a video yesterday showing the benefits of kind of my tweak settings to get uh, an equivalent of what I feel would be wide color gamut color. I am far more enriched picture. And that gave, obviously, Lucy the video yesterday. You could see that the difference in the amount of kind of pop that the image got, as you know, has a, has as a result. So, quickly pause this now, change over to that disc, and we'll start again. Okay, then we're back now. This is this is now obviously the UHD version of this disc. As you can see, we are Rec 2020 color, 10 bit, 4K resolution, 420 chroma. That's the disk information we are output into the projector. UHD, Rec 2020, 422, 12-bit. That's what we're outputting now. So this is this is literally full fat UHD. We've got the Oppo set. Same as the video yesterday. Sorry if I don't keep the camera still. Um, basically strip metadata with 100 nits set as our brightness level. So now let's watch a little bit of this and see if we can see obviously the differences and the benefit of UHD for this film. So there's definitely more Well, you get you get subtleties in the picture that you don't get in the other in the Blu-ray. Um, there was some subtlety on you know like sweat and stuff on the on the guy's face a minute ago. Uh, certainly, obviously, more colour in the image. After doing the test, though, back and forward, it's certainly not night and day. The image is more just more solid. It's uh I mean to be fair, this is obviously only a, only a 2K DI film. So not not the best test, but it's a good test of Blu-ray, it's a really good Blu-ray, so that is why I used it. Maybe we'll try and skip another section. Yeah, so basically that is that is the difference. Is it, it's visible? You can see it. Um, is it huge? Not not so much in this film, um, but it definitely makes a difference. And I think any difference we can get is you know is worthwhile. Uh, I'm not getting anything like the full benefit of uh, UHD format with this projector. You know, no HDR. I'm having to kind of uh, manually sort of push color and stuff to try and get what I feel is is a. Uh, uh, equivalent of wide color gamut. I've not done that with a meter. It's just done by eye. I mean, I can measure, I can calibrate displays, but I haven't got the software uh, update to do UHD. And I, I probably feel heartbroken if I actually saw, you know, how far away I was from the color. So, you know, doing it by eye, it's making sense for me at the moment. Uh, and to be honest, it's given a really, really enjoyable, um, good quality image for, for all the films that I've tried it on. And so far, I've been really happy with the performance of this this, this player, uh, performance of the projector. The player does have some bugs. Um, by the player, I mean the Oppo 203. It does have bugs. 
Um, a lot of those bugs have been ironed out with firmware, and I'm sure there'll be more coming out. Um, very good sounding player. Very, very good sounding player, in fact. Um, very fast. Very very quiet. Um, I don't think I've ever heard it make a noise, to be honest, which is, which is you know... Um, great really <laughs> yeah considering some players are noisy and there are uh modifications and upgrades that you can do to the player which i'm hoping at some point i'll do and if i do obviously i'll film those so you can you can watch and i'll try and sh shoot the differences after um yeah so you know i hope this video is, is, is helpful to people as i say that the oppo 203 bugs aside it's a glorious player you get a phenomenal picture i, I can't i can't say whether it's worth the money over other uhd players i've not tried them but you know, I don't regret buying it for a single second um, and hopefully it lasts me for, you know, a good few years to come.